Let it go, let it go. Can't hold it back anymore. Let it go, let it go. Enough! Didn't think you would react that badly to it. You know I hate that movie. I thought you just hated the song. That too. <sighs> uh, a simple please stop would suffice. You got the message more clearly now, didn't you? Well... The title of this episode is unfortunately called Frozen. Not to be confused with the Disney animated hit. Seriously, DreamWorks, why? You had a history of Bugs Life Pants and what? Any other Not, ones? No, no the, what's weird is that DreamWorks started most uh, successful animated film before they actually started making good animated films oh, sure. was Track, which was like the ultimate Disney middle finger. Yeah, but seriously, like, you know, if you know your Disney and DreamWorks history here, uh, Jeff Katzenberg was a part of Disney and formed DreamWorks with, what? St Steven Spielberg and some other guy who makes up the G in SKG. Yes, and so most, in the early years, were spent copying Disney. Mm-hmm. And uh, this is kind of strange because, yes, I have heard of movie copying, but when you make a title called Frozen... And when was this released? I don't. I think the season actually did come out in 2014, maybe. So no, 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 no. Wait, yeah, maybe 2014. So why? <laughs> I mean, I know you two have history, but maybe we should just get on with the episode. Really, you go first. <laughs> okay. I, I'm. I'm just got a headache. All right, so uh, the ep so the episode begins with uh, a blizzard actually uh, <laughs> uh, happening on Burke. I was thinking a bucket. <laughs> yeah, yeah, um, and that's actually a, a clever way because uh, it's actually a clever way to bring back Roughnut's old hairstyle. Really, <sighs> uh, I lost five bucks. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Well, did you expect them to actually keep it? No, but I had a sliver of hope. Yeah. Well, I wasn't holding my breath. And so, but it's okay. So it's been it's been it's bliz it's been a been blizzarding there for about like a week. Yeah. And uh, the the academy writers have just been have been cooped up in one of the dragon cells for like a week, and they're starting to get cabin fever. <laughs> yeah. Okay. First, Hiccup was teaching on a what random chalkboard, uh, uh slab think, board, slab board. Yeah, about proper wing control. Uh, it's in the middle in the middle of his lecture. <laughs> it's a, it's it's funny. It's almost like that, like that old uh, you know who. Who threw that pit, that spitball? Yeah, pretty much. That's all I expected. Except who threw that? Who spat that fireball? <sighs> yeah. So when, all right. So stoic comp barges in before things get too chaotic. Like we see fish legs now, like talking to talking to oh. meat legs toenails. Why? <laughs> The tw the twins dragon are chasing their chasing their tail like a dog. Well, okay, T tough nut, rough nut. Just... No, no, the dragons is aren't chasing their oh, tail. Oh no, no, no! I thought you talked about tough nut. Yeah, tough. I was gonna get to that. Tough uh, nut is also. Well, you said you said the twins. The twins dragon. Oh, okay. Who's on first? What's <laughs> on second? I don't know who's on third. That's what I'm asking. Ugh. <laughs> Yeah, so, yeah, and Tough Nut thinks he has a tail, so he starts chasing that. So, <laughs> right, and so when Stoic said, so it, I'm actually, I'm really surprised that Stoic shows really great 
care for Trader Johan. I don't really think he... Is there any other trader besides him? Probably not. Is he a native on Burke? I'm guessing that that was his hometown. I don't... I don't really know. He doesn't look like he he would belong on Berg, though. No, but hey, this history tells that traitors are important, though. Okay. All right, know, so... So, uh, hmm? There's, like, resources, so all that good stuff. I don't know what you need squid, squid ink for. I mean, well, yeah, it's ink, but still... Oh, Hickam needed that for, you know, uh, for dragon drawings, because, you know, charcoal smudges easily. Yeah. And... Uh, all right, so Stoic comes in and tells that uh, Johan hasn't come into port yet, and Hiccup just like volunteer, just he volunteer, jumps on the opportunity. Jumps, yeah, jumps on the opportunity to just go out to go out, and Stoic uh, just lets him, lets him fly out. Pretty much, he said, "Don't forget to shut the door." Yeah, don't forget to bolt the door. Yeah. This was, was this before locks were invented. Yeah, yeah, but. So, it's interesting because it's so cold, apparently. Like, I'm surprised Bucket's helmet, Bucket's Bucket, hasn't closed, closed itself on its head and I know. severed yeah. its brain. Yeah, what has happened? But, maybe it's kind of, it's kind of explained later. We'll get to that, uh, we'll get to that soon. Uh, so, uh, remember when we said that we wanted to see Hiccup on a solo adventure one of these days? Yeah. Yeah, we, we kind of got that. We got one-fourth of it. yeah. Yeah, when he's he's trying to find Trader Johan, he sees that part of the ocean has like frozen over, creating kind of like this ice bridge. And they actually do pass by a pack of dragons that will eventually become important later on. But yeah, but moving on, uh, they're searching for Trader Johan, yeah. and hey, they find a ship. They find a ship, and they find him, so they fly him back to Burke. Well, and... hold on, sleep fly for for two flies. No. Seriously, like he was like acting like he was sleep driving. I don't, know. or maybe he was on autopilot. You well, know, because yeah. because yep. you got ahead, you got ahead ahead of us again. Because well, no, he's uh, we didn't say that Trader Johan was talking of was just telling stories all the, talking nonstop about all the stories of the adventures he's been. Like I don't know if. Uh, He's just running at the mouth like verbal diarrhea. <laughs> it's it's like if someone never n- n- doesn't know the word of shut up. Mm-hmm. And hiccup, you know, because he's too he's, kind. He's too yeah, he's too kind hearted. He just can't tell something. He can't tell someone to shut up unless, of course, you're someone like Snodloud and you just really put in, you push his <laughs> buttons. Yeah. So. Uh, they eventually get back to Burke when something weird is happening. Yeah, and this is what this is one of the reasons I like this episode. It reminded me of Breakneck Bo- Breakneck Bog is that it made another creepy environment this time just with ice. Yeah. I mean, the whole town of Burke is empty. Is empty. It's a ghost town. Yeah, and uh, you th- you thought it was like did they do a time travel episode, which. That would be kind of jumping the shark too early. No, no, be jumping the shark. But seriously, it's like it was like, what the hell happened? Of course, my, of course, my comment about did we get into did we just jump into the Langoliers scenario I wouldn't have helped either. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So while they're while they keep investigating, Hiccup sets his movements in one of the house and goes to investigate, <laughs> only to be body slammed by. <laughs> oh no no no! He fell. He fell. He fell. Yes. By f- yeah, he f- fish legs fell on him. <laughs> uh, 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 <laughs> no. I, I see better falling movement than that. Uh huh. It's, yes. it's, that's not convincing, fish legs. Yeah, I don't think the I don't think the WWE calls uh the body slam a falling slam. No, I don't no. think so. No, that it's not cool that way. It's not. It's not. Re- it's not epic enough. Yeah. So, of course, I'm guessing we had a commercial break because it cuts. Yeah, it does. So, when we get back, um, <laughs> Toothless is staring at Hiccup, and also we get like a j- sort of jump scare and sp- like attempt. An, a Sam Raimi Evil Dead kind of, <laughs> kind of jump scare. <laughs> 
This shit like, like slides right into right into the frame. He's like staring at it. It's like it's like <laughs> I'm like, how does he how did he do that really? I I don't think he has roller skates. No, or skateboards. That too. Alright, might want to sit back now. You're getting you're out of frame. Ah! <laughs> and alright, so Fishlegs was like the only survivors, and he says that the cause of the of the disappearance were this new dragon species called Speed Stingers. I kind of like the name, really. Yeah, it's better than Typhoon, right? Yes, yes. And the design is actually pretty awesome, too. It, they, even if they remind me of Velociraptors. Yeah. But still, not all dra- I don't. Not all dragons should look like flying reptiles. Yeah, but the only thing is, is like, is it technically a dragon? Does it exist? Does it exist now? Well, no. What I'm saying is that like, what, what is the cl- what's, what? Do you have to be classified as a dragon to have wings? No, I guess not. Dra- Technically, a skull. Those the wings that Skaldron has can be considered fins. True. But I was like, so like so they have their own island. Mm-hmm. I'm guessing that they. That's where they all live and hunt and food. Uh-huh. So, why did they felt the need to cross? Because they had the opportunity of the ice bridge. No, I'm asking, why? Not explained. Yeah. So, they just did it for shits and giggles. I guess. Ooh, guys! We can explore new land! Probably. But, boss, this is ice. Who cares? <laughs> Alright, so, yeah... We can't, so it shows, Fish Legs tells us what happens, and, you know, flashback shows us, and it shows us the speed and kind of that, and, you know, the design of the speed stingers, and, it, and we get some, and it is kind of hilarious. They have this, they, so they have this tail that, when it, and they're very fast, they'll sting you and it just paralyzes you right in motion. <laughs> and uh, it's, it's, it's supposed, it is kind of scary, but at the same time, it's kind of hilarious, really. It, it really is hilarious. Mm-hmm. Especially and when, uh, like, Snout Out's running, he's about to jump on Hoofbang. Yes. He's yeah. about to jump on Hoofbang. <laughs> yep. And, yeah, he's from. Uh, this episode, Snout Out's just a butt monkey. I know, I know. <laughs> All right, and we find, we see Bucket again. Uh, why, oh. but, but not very much. I, Why, guys? Bring bring him more lines. I know. I want to see more mulching buckets. All right. So that's probably the reason. But that's probably the reason why he was not like on the ground in pain, clutching his bucket, is because well, there's there's speed stingers all around. Yeah. And so. <laughs> oh yeah, that's right. Uh, I forgot to mention like about. The fart joke. Oh, the fart. Yeah. Well, yeah. They're getting yeah. really ballsy with the farts. I don't know. I think it's that starting was... to get. It's starting to get really boring. That wasn't. Dra- that's not dragons. Dragons was usually above potty humor. The only one who could make that was Gobber. Remember in the first movie? Yeah. After 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 but... Stoic said, "All hell's gonna break loose," and my undies. Good thing I brought extras. Yeah, but wait, expect it's meat log. <laughs> meat lug, yeah. yeah. That's gotta be like the third time in the just in this season alone that she farts. <laughs> and she, one of them was used for an attack. Yes. <laughs> Fart in your enemy's face and smack him down with that freaking tail. I know, I know, but. <laughs> oh my god. And mind you, she's frozen when she farts. <laughs> and that's what made it hilarious for me because I'm like, you know, farting when moving is not for nothing spectacular, but when you're like. <laughs> and it just yeah but i think what also makes it funny is that it's uh it's johan that feels the effects <laughs> yes <laughs> it's johan da- down here it's all right i landed on my fluffy bits and they managed to move meatloaf and he falls over motionlessly <laughs> yeah onto johan but so <clears throat> We finally find the rest of the people, and they're they're in the cove. Yes, guarding the food. 
That right, includes some of them are frozen, but there are a few survivors, one of them being Astrid. Yes. And, aww. Oh, Hickstrid! 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 Yes, Astrid hugs hugs Hiccup. Yes! Yes, finally! God, I was really, I was really... I was really worried. Yeah, I was really from the whole Astrid flirting with Snarlout. I know it was a joke, but... He's dumb. He could probably he could still take that the wrong way, even if he yeah, is scared. I know, but my God, no, no, stoic. He's like, he's like, oh yeah, he's frozen in like the statue that that only people wish they that uh, wish you be wish they could be. They wish they could make statues like that. He's got his sword drawn. His he's, he's got a, he's got a battle face battle face on. But still, it's funny is that when Gobber comes in, we've hardly seen Gobber in this in the entire season. Yeah, like he makes a he'll make a, a appearance or two and crack a joke. Yeah, uh, but but he's sitting. But yeah, we see just the awesome. He tells us about the awesomeness of Stoic is that it took like six speed stingers just to bring him down, uh, and then it's and then it's kind of brought down a bit when you hear. Mm-hmm. <laughs> From Stoic. Yeah, he's not quite frozen yet. <laughs> his, his vocals still... His vocal throat still works. Do you understand what he's saying? Multiclue. <laughs> <laughs> My god. Yeah. Oh, but... <laughs> oh. oh, but... Oh, it gets even better. Snotloud is still frozen, and he is. he's babysitting by the twins. <laughs> Quit hitting yourself. Quit hitting yourself. Quit, pi- Quit picking your nose. <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> uh, mind you, uh, so it's up to Hiccup to come up with a plan of action. Well, my first thought was burn the ice bridge. You know, melt That's it. Just, that, was, that would be the simplest course until they realized they're still on the island. Yeah, they are. I didn't realize that. I thought they were on their different island. So and they're did gonna I. Come back. I really thought, yeah, I thought they so didn't, too. They didn't really explain that really yeah. real well. No, they. Yeah, that's the difference between the series and the movies. The movies really do really show clearly, thereby being able to tell us what is happening. The series, it's kind of a, it's kind of a switch between. So, yeah, they need to find a, a Velociraptor pack mm-hmm. and take out the pack leader. Yeah. And uh, Snotloud is still frozen, but he's still quickly regaining control. He can only move things from the neck up, <laughs> which is kind of funny. So he's like, so yeah, he brings Gustav in to bring to be his arms and legs. <laughs> it's, and together we are Gustav. Stop with the hands! <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! And my dear Astrid actually agreed. I know. Well, that's because Snotloud said that he needs all the firepower he can get. Unfortunately, he was right. Mm-hmm. But then again, they've established... But why? Just leave Snotloud and take Gustav because... Well, one, he need, they've said that he needed experience in the flight stuff. I don't know. Why, and why, plus, why not use and it, Gustav? Yeah, and it's shown that monsters, that uh, Hookfang prefers Gustav over, over Snotloud. <laughs> Oh, but <laughs> but then again, we probably wouldn't get the get uh, the best no, the best scene the, the best scene in my in, opinion involved the best snile out misery scene in this entire yes. episode. The, so they're flying around trying to find the speed stingers. I am taking this away from you. Ah, you will get it back at the end at the end of the session. Good, <sighs> so I have my spare. All right, so they're flying around trying to find where the, where the speed stingers could hide because they only attack at night and they're afraid of the day. So they're like velociraptors mixed with owls or bats. Owl raptors, bat raptors. <laughs> mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay, okay. Let's not give Jurassic Park any ideas. Okay. <laughs> they're already uh, try crossbreeding different animals now. All right. All right. So uh, yeah. And really, I wasn't really paying attention to what the other ones were doing because it's just basically, you know, certain. Did you find anything? Nothing no, yet. No, nothing. You fu- How about you? We ain't found oh, shit. Oh, oh no. Uh, but best you you go first. When Snotloud and Gustav are searching, are searching uh, for the speed singers, 
Snilout is still seated up front with Gustav <laughs> behind, and he, Gustav can't see, so he gets this brilliant idea of doing a loop de loop so he can so he can so that he can see. Continue. Um, unfortunately, um, there is no such thing as seat belts at this era. Or a safety harness. Or, or a safety, safe- or he doesn't have a safety harness like, t- like Hiccup had. Yes, and, um, well, Snoutlout is not nailed down, really. <laughs> so, and during the loop-de-loop, he falls down headfirst into the sand. And, my dear, the price, it was priceless to see the look on his face. As he came down. I, yeah, I don't know why it was so funny, though. Maybe it's because he can't, because he can't move to express the fact that, <laughs> ah, the, he, yeah, the he movement just, of pain. He, he can't move. He's just like a statue. He's like, ah. Oh, is it because his misery is in the fact that he can't express it? <laughs> express it? Or the fact that he is, because he can't move, he can't put him, bring himself out on his own. <laughs> He's just stuck. Stuck like this, you can't even wiggle. There it's re- just, it's just a rock. There really is always an element of something negative in order to get a laugh when it comes to comedy. I know. Oh, there... uh, Doug Walker. Yes. Yeah. Really, I wish I had, I wish I had noticed noticed that myself. Then when I, then when I saw saw Nostalgia Craig talking about, I was like, yes, I always knew that. Yes, but uh, oh well, oh well, but. Moving on. So, so they looked everywhere <laughs> until Hiccup asked, "Did you search the caves?" No. Why? Why would you even ask that? I mean, no. Are, are you saying that I fell off my dragon and be- and fell in the sand head first, and it took me hours to get out? It took him hours to get out. Gustav, make me punch you. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so they go in the caves. They find it. They find the nest. They yes, they find it, and they capture the, and they capture the alpha of the of the species, and it looks like they and it looks like they are about to capture him, and, but the sun is still setting. There is actually an element of suspense in t- uh, in the execution, really. Yeah. Yes, but but of course, the pack wakes up. And, and we gotta do get get an impressive fight, fight especially scene. especially like when you have the the speediest dragon versus the fastest night fury here. Mm-hmm. So yeah, they're they're dodging each other's blows. Mm-hmm. And my God, Hiccup blocking that thing, and that his shield then ripped out of his arm, and Toothless catching it and throwing it back like Captain America here. <laughs> I think that kind of explains how it came back in uh, the Night and the Fury. Remember? It's, yes. Yeah, I'm really liking shields now. They kind of beat swords. Of course. A good offense is a good defense. Or is it the other way around? Mm, indeed. <laughs> but, oh, uh, but with an ingenuity of Astrid and teamwork, they managed to capture it again. They, yes, they captured the Alpha into a cage so that they can, so they can lure the rest of the Speed Stingers away because it's, because... They do have a pack mentality. They'll always follow the leader. Yep. And, but, uh, so the cage is carried by Stormflight, but eventually one of the Speed Singers, they get too, cl- they get too close and uh, Stormflight gets stung, so it's now up to Hiccup. But I do gotta say, I am kind of laughing a little bit at when the Speed Stingers run, because when, not only are they kind of galloping, they're it's also like kind of... They look, they look like Gallimimus. Gallimimus? Yeah. Less, less velociraptor like the act velociraptor, but they run like a Gallimimus. Mimus. Gallimimus. Mimus. Ugh. I don't care. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yes. Seriously, <laughs> if I pull up a clip of freaking the Jurassic Park Gallimimus scene, I would think so. Yeah, it's true. I know. Oh yeah, that kind of remi- that reminded me of. Remember when we we're seeing the Speed Singers move and uh, Toothless fight? I it just reminded me of Road Road Runner. Every time it moved, I was going meet me, meet me, meet me, meet me. <laughs> now, this is my only complaint about this is they could avoid this whole no suspense of 
Stormfly getting stung, or hell, Toothless getting stung. Like, why aren't you flying a little bit higher? Mm. There's only so high they can jump. They can't fly. True. They have to be just in visual sight. To add some su- to add some suspense, because for the first time at for the first time ever, we're seeing the shield running out of bolas, which I'm kind of surprised that it can actually hold more than one. And unless, of course, it's not in pl- unless, of course, I'm just saying it's holding and, it holds uh, more than one. Two and Tuplas is out of plasma. Has that ever happened? No, not in the entire hold, series. Hold, 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 hold. Running out of plasma. What, what is running the plasma? Energy. Every dragon has a limited number of shots. Remember. Yeah, but we have never seen two force run out of shots. No, we don't. We don't even see, like how many shots he fired. I don't Seriously. know because I've seen fire more shots in, in other episodes than this episode. Really? Yes. Huh. Then I guess it was just writer's convenience. Yeah. All right, but still, there was a there was a sense of suspense to it, which I kind which I kind of liked, and finally they bring the. Pl- uh, the plan together, like we kind of actually, we actually kind of called it. They, they get all the speed stingers on, uh, to as far away from Burke as they possibly can, and they burn, and they uh, burn the ice bridge. But uh, not, oh, but we kind of did forget another, another funny, not, another funny part. But not for one final laugh. No, no, we. Didn't, but before that, it it still involves Snilout. Is that he does regain full control? Yeah, full control. That's the final laugh. Oh, okay. Oh, only to be restung again, dung, uh, restung again in the middle of his oi, 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 <laughs> in the ass. Yeah, right in the ass. Yeah. yeah. That was just whole. I'm sorry, but Snell, I was just. He was the l- laughing stock of this episode. I he know, was the I... butt monkey. He was. <laughs> and I'm okay with that. <laughs> yeah. And uh, Stoic, e- Stoic even regains full control, and the hell, he saves her ass. Yeah, he does. I mean, yes, Stoic the vast, you are manly beyond compare. Seriously, he is. He, if a man is frozen solid and he can still speak, bar- barely speaking through his teeth, <laughs> like that, <laughs> you know you're a real man. <laughs> no, I know it's he, he's awesome. He is the best dad. Maybe. Yeah, so... And, and then the episode just kind of... Stops. Ends, really. But, hey, he returns Trader Johan to his ship. Oh, yeah, that's right! And I can't believe his... we forgot about it. He gets his squid ink. Remember that he promised, like... Like, one season ago. Yes! That, huh. Oh, was it Dragonflower? Yeah, Dragonflower. Dragonflower that got smashed because... Uh, reasons? Uh, Toothless accidentally knocked it over. Sick. After. God damn you, Mildew. Yeah, after. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so, yeah. A plot thread that we didn't. That was a plot thread that I didn't really care would ever be resolved. Actually get resolved. <laughs> what, the squid ink? Yes. There's a lot of plot threads we don't think get resolved, and yet somehow get resolved. I know. Uh, but. Really, no pros and cons. Well, cons con, pros are obviously the humor. The humor. I liked it. I liked there. There was a sen- There it was, was a oh, sense of suspense to it. it I was, liked the design in the dragons. Yeah, and probably because I'm just a sucker for Spielberg. Yeah. And freak. Um, in fact, that it had suspense and all that wonderful stuff. And hell, it was. It's been a while since I've seen an ice episode. It has. It has. And I kind of missed those. <laughs> and the one thing that I kind of liked about this was the fact that I don't know why did other other episodes that were kind of like this, but for some reason it felt empty. Really? Like what? Like, what's it? Um, the the flight stuff was kind of like was kind of like this, but for some reason it was eh. Oh, that was because it was, again, more of a breather episode, really. The, this one doesn't feel like a breather episode. It doesn't. In fact, but it's not exactly too serious, for some reason. No. So then, I, I guess it found, it kind of found the right balance between drama and comedy, really. Yeah. And 
I like it. it it's, it's not the greatest thing ever made. It's just... So the only con, I guess, would be, you know, the ending with why they didn't fly higher. Yeah, that's that's my only little nitpick. Yeah, I can I can understand that. I mean, I kind of thought that was silly, too. You know, like, you want to make sure you're out of stinger range, mm -hmm. you know, but you want to also make sure they're following you, so it's like, you know, keep the balance. Mm -hmm. Not hard. So, yeah, Frozen was actually a pretty good episode. Yeah, it might make my top ten. Might. Let me guess, the title? No, not the title. It's just, gotta see what the other episodes hold. Okay. Because I'm, I'm top ten includes season one and two episodes. Okay. You got it. Alright, so yeah, I got nothing left for this. I got nothing left for this. Alright, then uh, that means that's the end of this vlog, and we will see you next time.